Family Worship Ministries presents Today's Focus with Drs. Harold and Susie Pope, your host, reaching around the world with radio ministry, WJRM.com. Reaching out to the next generation with FWM Christian Academy, grades K through 12. Teaching and developing Christian leaders with FWM College of Theology. And now from Family Worship Ministries in Troy, North Carolina, here's today's focus. Family Worship Ministries would like to welcome you to our television show. Stay tuned for the next half hour for encouragement and faith that will change your life through God's Word. We would like to invite you to come to one of our services. Sunday morning worship begins at 1030. We have Monday night prayer at 8 o'clock and Wednesday night Bible study at 730. For more information, go to our website, familyworshipministries.com. And now here's your host of today's show. Hi, I'm Dr. Harold Pope. We're glad that you've joined us today for this program. We're going into a service where my wife, Dr. Susie Pope, is teaching on deliverance. You don't want to miss this. I'm telling you, because there are things that God wants to deliver us from and bring us into real truth so that we're free to serve Him. I want you to listen to this, and we'll come back at the end of the program and talk to you more about family worship ministry. What is happening in your lives this morning? Good, bad, right, or wrong. I don't want any kind of condemnation to overshadow you. If you don't know truth, you don't know you're doing something wrong until the truth is revealed. All God requires of us is just to repent and turn. So when light is exposed, if you have your Bibles or it's up on the screen, let's turn to Matthew 6, 9. And the title of my message is, O Deliver Us from evil. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Now, Jesus is giving a model prayer for his disciples and his followers to pray. And the things that are inside of this prayer is, will cover everything that touches your life. And this is what he's saying. Pray over these things. Ask me for these things. And I will give you what you ask me uh, for. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Worship him. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. He wants his kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. He wants you to experience in your walk with God right now what's happening in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Provide us our needs. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Walk in unforgiveness. Walk in forgiveness. Don't allow unforgiveness to be harbored in your life. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, he knows that there's evil there. Or he wouldn't have said, ask me to deliver you, deliver us from evil. And I'm telling you, let's go back to the book of Genesis, where everything began. We were created in the image and the likeness of God. And we were created to walk in faith and obedience to God's word and to God's voice. Are you with me? That needs to come alive on the inside of us. And I hope I'm not duplicating the things that I say. I don't, sometimes I teach several classes and I don't know where I've said what. It just all merges together. But in the book of Genesis, God created man, Adam and Eve, and he placed them in a perfect environment. He placed them in an environment that there was no fear, there was no lack, there was no want, there was no unhappiness, there was no divorce, there was no rejection, there was no depression, there was no attitudes, wrong attitudes, um, there was nothing that would disrupt perfect peace and perfect happiness. That is the way that God created us. Now, you look at yourself this morning and tell, uh, tell yourself that you're walking in that. I don't think so, but we can. But we can. We were created in the likeness and the image of God. And God gives some instructions to Adam and Eve, and he said, Now, I have placed you in this beautiful garden 
where there's joy, there's peace, there's provision, there is everything that you ever have need of, I've put you here. But there's one thing that I'm asking you not to do. I don't want you to eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Because if you eat of that tree, you're going to die. Before Eve was deceived by Satan, which entered the body of the serpent, mankind did not know evil. And that evil has warped humanity from that day until this. And Christ came down from heaven as a man to, de to bring deliverance to us so that we can walk back in that place that God created us to be. Now, there is a curse on the earth, yes. But I'm telling you, when he came and the power of the Holy Ghost came, he came for, he, to give us that power to speak to that thing and cause it to become what it was in the very beginning. Jesus did it all through his walk on the earth. When they didn't have enough fish to go around to feed the 5,000, what did he do? He spoke to that thing. And remove the evil of, a lack, of lack out of it and caused it to be like it was in the Garden of Eden. Uninterrupted um, provision. That's what I'm going to call it. Is that not what he done? Look at all the miracles that happened and Jesus accomplished. while it, The people that were sick, he come to restore that person back to the image and likeness of God. We need to be restored back. But we have not taken hold of the truth of God to grab a hold of it in the way that he has presented it. He does not want us walking around burdened and underneath it. Back in the middle 80s, I don't know when it was, I had a lot of things in my life, a lot of evil in my life. I was a born-again, spirit-filled Christian. But there was a lot of evil that was attached to my life that I didn't understand the power that it had over my life. Being abused as a child in every way that possibly could be abused, well, probably not possible, that's stretching it. I was abused in a lot of ways. And when that abuse touched my emotions... It changed my belief system. It changed the things that God had put on inside of me before the foundation of the world. It thwarted my trust. It, it distorted the view of people. It distorted my, it turned my faith into doubt. It turned my joy into fear. I was afraid of everything. Oh, Lord, deliver us from evil today. What is on the inside of you that you have grown up with as a child? Your parents taught you that, not intentionally, but has taught you to do evil, which is against God's word. Anything that is against God's word is evil. Anything that God says for us not to do or to do and we don't obey that, it's evil. We don't, want to, we don't want to label that that, but it is true. It was evil. Evil entered into Adam and Eve and the whole race of humanity when she disobeyed. When we disobey, we open up a door and give Satan legal right to come into our lives and do what he wants to do in our lives. We don't realize that. Thank you for joining us for today's Focus, presented by Family Worship Ministries with your pastors, Dr. Harold and Dr. Susie Pope. Reaching you with radio ministry, WJRM and WJRM.com. Reaching the next generation with FWM, Christian Academy, grades K through 12, and teaching the gospel through FWM College of Theology. Join us next time right here on today's focus.